as you're talking, it reminded me of this book called Competing Against Luck uh, by Clayton Christensen. And he talks about how larger organizations like P&G need entrepreneurs, people that are curious to find new ways of solving unique problems as opposed to using their experience, which involves going backwards all the time. And he mentioned that if these larger companies don't have entrepreneurs who, to your point, also might have a side hustle, they won't be able to innovate as quickly as smaller companies. So having those people that have that entrepreneurial mindset uh, is super important, but you also want to give them the freedom to do so without saying, oh, you can't do this or we'll fire you, right? Because one of my buddies, uh, Jason Pfeiffer, who's the editor in chief of Entrepreneur Magazine, he straight up says any company that doesn't allow their stars to have side hustles, you're, you could potentially lose your stars or they're going to be frustrated because you're not letting them express another form of their curiosity and creativity, which could spill over to their nine to five job as well. So and there's a book called Super Founder that actually did a lot of kind of like data analysis of what makes um, successful um, startups, you know, which they I think they had said was, was it wasn't unicorns, but it was, you know, at least Series C and above. Um, and, and one of the common threads was that they had started a business before. And, and so it's funny that we're talking about digital and, and you know, digital marketing and, and upskilling. Um, but the that courage to go and learn on their own, for me, is one of the best indicators that this person, even if they don't know, if they're willing to say they don't know it, they're going to find a way to, to kind of get that information. And that's where like a general assembly is so incredible because they can say, hey, we've got these experts, we've got these people who, you know, are, are looking for this information. Let's make the connection. And, and let's give them that opportunity. Um, they could go and learn on YouTube videos. It's not the same as having experts, you know, who are actually able to be there and show them exactly and how it could apply to their role. Um, and that for me is one of the, the you know, biggest kind of drivers for, for, for choosing like a, a general assembly because it's the experts, it's the hands-on keyboard, and it's the people who really are looking for that information and just bridging uh, all of those together.